Hi, so today we're having an event to, with the um, students. Mothers and fathers have come to take their students out of the school, out of uh, uh, Dartington Primary School to protest against the mask, which is just 50 meters away. Uh, doctors and scientists have put together peer-reviewed research, which we actually have in this folder, showing the connections with brain tumors and electromagnetic radiation. And children are the most vulnerable to brain tumors because their skulls are thinner, so therefore the radiation is more likely to penetrate inside their heads. So we're doing a protest today, we're withdrawing the kids, and this is basically a last straw. If uh, they don't remove the mast, then the children will be permanently removed from the school, and that's what a lot of the mothers have told me today. So I'm a local resident, um, I live about 600 metres away, and I'm a resident who's chosen to switch off my phone wherever possible, um, so 95% of the day my phone is switched off um, to use a landline instead, a wired wide, wide landline um, to not have a router in my house to plug in instead and to definitely not participate in smart meters and for me it's a, it's a, it needs to be a voluntary choice if people are exposed to radiation and this is involuntary, this is next to a school, this is in community I used to take my daughter to this park every day she's a little toddler, she just like playing football, would you believe it? and she loved it here. I've not been able to bring her since the day they put the mask up because why would I choose that? Why would I take that risk? We're here today because we're unhappy about the phone mask which is standing behind me. It's been put in the vicinity of three schools without proper public consultation and the EMF reading is 40% uh, higher than it should be in my child's nursery. So to prove loss of amenity and to prove that we care about our children, we've taken the children out of school this afternoon to say we would be deregistering them until they make this playground safe and this area around because we care what our children ingest and we can't afford to take risks. And there's so much information about scientists challenging the WHO, the World Health Authority on this, or the World Health Organization, sorry, on this. They're challenging it with evidence that it's not just thermal, it's not just thermal release damage, it's the, it's the non-thermal um, and that can really affect our DNA, it can affect so much on a cellular level and of course you know my body tells me that, I don't need, I don't need the science to tell me that, I know that, I know that putting a cell phone into my head is not good for me and so why would I, why would I expose my child to this? Um, and one of our biggest concerns is that it's, it's shattered the heart of our village but it's equally, it's distressing to know that wherever we live they could come along and put a mask there. That is distressing to know that planning permission allows a 10 metre mast outside of our house because apparently it's safe. Even though, even though the NHS says if, you want to, if, you, if you're concerned for your child, you can keep a cell phone away from them. It says that. If you're concerned for your child, on the NHS site, I've looked at it just yesterday, if you're concerned, reduce, reduce the amount that your child spends on a cell phone, restrict it to only if ever essential. But what chance do we have when a consistently emitting mast is near our houses? There's, we can't do anything about that. It's consistent and it's involuntary exposure. And we're going to be holding an event soon in the Totnes area and we're going to be inviting doctors, um, people like Barry Trowler, Mark Steele to come and talk about what 5G is really about and the damaging effects of electromagnetic radiation.